Hey, what up, guys? It's your host, is with you most. It's Big Jake Jake. And another exciting moment here at Level 5, Covering High. We're going to cover a little bit about reptiles and amphibians. But before we get started, due to popular demand, worldwide requests coming all the way from Alaska to, to Maine and from Hawaii to somewhere way out there in Puerto Rico's dad joke time. Well, what do you call a pile of cats? Mm -hmm. A meow -tum. Just for you, uh, old uh, Dasha. I hear you, girl. All right. So, anyways, we're going to get started on some reptiles and amphibians. All right. All right. We get started through our ENR. This is the third in the five power series. So, you want to be a professional wildlifer. You got to know something about wildlife ID. Now, who do you think this is up here? An investigator? Or an alligator. That's right, an alligator. All right. Man, that's a bad little joker. You don't want to see him fishing. But if you must, 38, to make it great. All right. This is called an alligator snapping turtle. Alligator snapping turtle. All right, snake time. By the way, you guys are real bored this weekend or next week or whenever you're watching this. All right. I want you to go to a local uh, place. It's called YouTube, youtube.com. And I want you to type in Snake Farm. It just sounds nasty, all right? Snake Farm, it pretty much is. You're going to love it, all right? Black rat snake, black rat snake. Very beneficial, all right? Huh. Ribbit, ribbit. Should have told you a little froggy joke, but we'll save it for another day. Bullfrog, bullfrog. Really good with uh, frog legs, frog legs, all right? Man, that's going to be hard to see on your PowerPoint. Some people call it a fence lizard. It's actually called a green collared lizard or a collared lizard. All right. Ooh. Not an alligator snapping turtle, but a common snapping turtle. Now, what do you think it is to between that alligator and that common? That alligator looks like a bad joker. Check out his head, his muscularity up front, those uh, little spiky spikes poking out. Where is that common? Still big, but the alligator, he's, his head's a big difference on that. All right, we got another snake farmer. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Copperhead? Whoa, ho, Mr. J. This dude is on fire. Copperhead snake. One of three poisonous snakes in the state of Tennessee, along with a uh, rattle and a water moccasin, or as most people call it, is a cotton mouth. All right. Hmm. Take us a coral or, or a scarlet king snake. What you think, guys? Hmm. 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 All right, coral snake, coral snake. These are some bad jokers. You don't see them here in West Tennessee, but in Tejas, especially the southern part of Texas, uh, they're very common, the most poisonous snake in North America. All right. What do you think this is? Corn snake, gar snake, king snake, guard snake, Murray racer snake. All right, corn snake, corn snake. Y'all check that out. All right. Everybody says it doesn't look like that. No, it, it is. Trust me. We stayed at a hot end last night. Here's that second poisonous snake out of the three. All right. Cotton mouth or water moccasin. All right. <laughs> oh, man. If it's not an alligator, it should be the easiest one known to man. All right. It's a crocodile. Crocodile. Now, look. I got uh, my two youngest at home, seven and four. They love alligators. And so we watched this YouTube video. Um, about the difference between alligator heads and crocodile heads, and that's primarily how you can tell the difference. Um, crocodiles are primarily in Africa, all right, but there are some in uh, Central America, South America, uh, a paddle crocodile, and some of them get confused with alligators, but the main thing is their head shape. One looks skinny, skinny, kind of, and the alligator kind of bowed out just a little bit, and their teethuses. They got all those teethuses, but no toothbrush, all right? Hmm. What we got here? Anybody? Anybody? Oh, huh? Uh -huh, uh -huh. What? 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 Oh, man, guys, it is a fence lizard. Fence lizard. All right, let's take a look. We got underbelly blue, light green. All right, pretty easy to identify. What kind we got there? It's a garter snake. Oh, hitting that button too fast. Watch that muzzle. Watch that muzzle. Garter snake. All right. People want to call him a garden hose snake. Let's see if we can go back to that one more time without moving too much. I got dancing my pants. I feel like dancing today. Woo! All right. But a garden snake because it looks kind of like a garden hose. All right. 
Hmm. Is that that, uh, got that insurance? Got go for your money? What you got? What you got? Green amyloid lizard. Amyloid lizard. All right. And you can tell from his throat coming down. Pretty easy to identify. Hmm. Woody tree frog. Daniel Son. Oh, yeah. And that is a gray tree frog. All right. All right. What about here? All right, y'all watch that movie Snake Farm. You'll see one of these. All right, it's a rattler. All right, big rattlesnake. We have what's called timber rattlesnakes in uh in our neck of the woods. All right, of course, further out west they have a diamond rattlesnake. All right, all snakes. All right, uh, a lot of people tend to say that all snakes are poisonous and all snakes are bad, and it's simply not the case. All right, in the state of Tennessee, for example, um, you have to. Uh, be very aware of where your snakes are and also what you do with snakes. All right, if you do something uh, technically illegal to kill a snake, all right, and what has happened in the past, we, uh, we, we thought we were killing some copperhead snakes or whatever, trying to get rid of those, all right. Uh, we actually killed what's called a uh, king snake, all right. Uh, did this for a friend of mine, and the king snake actually wanted to take out the copperhead, and the copperhead actually wound up almost uh, causing some real damage to one of our youngins. So uh, try to just uh, leave snakes alone is my best advice. All right, don't go trapping, catching, wrestling with them. All right, check out the mirrors, check out the mirrors. What we got, what we got? <clears throat> a red ear slider. All right, all right. Uh, you could be able to tell this pretty good. All right, by the what? By its neck. All right, ring neck, ring neck. All right. Oh, man, is that the old Monty Python boa constrictor? What do you think, y'all? Anybody? Anybody? Rubber boa snake. Rubber boa. Okay. Scarlet king snake. Yup, yup. All right. Timber rattler. All right, these are the ones we see more in our neck of the woods right here. All right. That head, easy identifier, whereas that copper head kind of looks like a diamond or a triangle. These jokers, their heads are very distinct. The size that is hard to tell at the house but the size is much, much bigger than uh, what's let known. And these guys are mobile and agile, all right? And, and not a frog, but a toad. Oh, Woodhouse toad, Woodhouse toad. All right. Young folks, that was probably the most electrifying seven minute and 30 second video on reptiles slash amphibians. Always follow us on the Twitter at JJFFA. Woo!